Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching more details. RHOSOC did Brittany Bateman's ex-husband demand sex. Major drama has been unraveling for Brittany Bateman as she handles her divorce proceedings. She used to be married to John Scott Underwood, but they since called it quits. Brittany's a familiar face to reality TV lovers since she stars on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Her divorce from John might have been finalized last year in October, but certain details of their toxic marriage are barely coming to the surface now. According to Brittany, married life was extremely rocky for a while before they decided to go their own separate ways. Here's what we know. Based on a statement obtained by Daily Mail, it seems Brittany truly went through the ranger while she was married to John. The ex-couple was legally wed for six and a half years, but during that time, things were pretty difficult for Brittany behind closed doors. She described John as being very controlling and abusive. Apparently, John wanted the final say when it came to Brittany's perfume makeup, clothing, and other beauty products. He wanted power over Brittany's appearance whether she was in his presence or out somewhere without him. Brittany claims he dictated which nail polish colors she was allowed to wear and how many days per week she worked out at the gym. Financial control was happening as well because Brittany claims she had to tell John about every dollar she would spend. Brittany's social life was impacted just as much. She says he manipulated her social schedule to control who she spent time with, including her own children and other family members. According to Brittany, she wasn't allowed to make direct eye contact with other men in public. She wasn't allowed to look through any of John's personal belongings, including his phone, his drawers, or his safe. And when it came to social media usage, she had to be the first person to comment on all of his posts as quickly as possible. John isn't ready to admit to any of the accusations against him. Randy S. Kest is John's attorney. He released a statement in defense of John saying, This is just one of many vexatious cases for which Ms. Underwood has had the impetuous, often making false and exaggerated claims. At least three prior cases which she was behind have already been dismissed. One of the most disturbing details of all comes down to Brittany and John's sex life. She says she was expected to submit to sexual intercourse on demand sometimes several times a day and prohibited her from ever complaining about it. Brittany's claims against John are alarming, to say the least. In the world of reality television, controversy is a constant companion. This time, the heated drama swirls around the newest face of the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, RHOSLC, Brittany Bateman. The actress turned housewife joined the cast with more than a few skeletons in her closet. Her introduction to the series was a whirlwind of charm, poise, and the promise of secrets simmering just beneath the surface. However, it didn't take long for the glittering facade to crumble when whispers about her past marriage started to circulate. Brittany's ex-husband, Durek, had never been a part of the show. In fact, very little was known about him, other than that the pair had been married for several years before their sudden, quiet divorce. However, as Brittany's presence on RHOSLC grew, the rumors about what truly led to their split gained momentum. It was one thing for viewers to speculate, but when a former friend of Brittany's, now a housewife herself, let something slip during a private confessional, the floodgates opened. He was always demanding, the housewife said cryptically, her eyes shifting uneasily as if she was unsure how much to reveal. Brittany confided in me once, and let's just say it wasn't good. The statement was enough to set the internet ablaze. Speculation about Brittany's relationship with Direct took on a life of its own, with fans of the show diving deep into the archives of gossip blogs and old social media posts to piece together what might have happened behind closed doors. 
Then came the bombshell accusation. Did Brittany Bateman's ex-husband demand sex from her in ways that crossed the line from intimacy into something more disturbing? As the allegations grew louder, Brittany found herself in the eye of the storm. Initially, she chose to stay silent, hoping that the rumors would fade. But silence wasn't enough. The other housewives began asking questions, prodding her to speak her truth during group gatherings that quickly turned tense. Some were sympathetic, while others, particularly Lisa Barlow, seemed to view Brittany's struggles as just another piece of drama to exploit. Brittany, you can't keep running from this, Lisa said pointedly during a dinner scene that was meant to be celebratory. If it's not true, say it. If it is, we need to know. Brittany's eyes flashed with a mix of anger and vulnerability. You don't know what you're asking, she shot back, her voice tight with emotion. The viewers at home, meanwhile, were glued to their screens, waiting for the moment when Brittany might finally open up. And then, in a heart-to-heart -heart with fellow cast member Heather Gay, Brittany allowed the first cracks in her armor to show. It wasn't like what people are saying, Brittany began, her voice soft but steady as the camera zoomed in on her tear-filled eyes. But it wasn't healthy either. Derek was very controlling, and in the end, that's why I had to leave. Heather listened intently, nodding in understanding. Did he cross boundaries? Brittany hesitated, taking a deep breath. He didn't hurt me, not physically. But he made me feel like I owed him things, like my body wasn't my own in our marriage. It was subtle at first, and I tried to brush it off, but after a while, it was suffocating. This quiet confession sent shockwaves through the group. The other housewives, who had been eagerly waiting for drama, suddenly realized they were dealing with something much more serious. Brittany wasn't just another pretty face embroiled in petty arguments about fashion and status. She was a woman who had survived something insidious, and now she was bearing her soul in front of millions of viewers. The revelation also brought Derek back into the spotlight, and while he had stayed out of the public eye since their divorce, it was clear that Brittany's confession wouldn't go unnoticed. Speculation about Derek's behavior intensified, with some tabloids reaching out to him for comment. Though he refused to speak publicly at first, an anonymous source claiming to be close to Derek painted a very different picture of the man. Derek loved Brittany, the source claimed. He never forced her to do anything. These accusations are coming from a place of bitterness. She's using her platform to turn people against him. Still, the damage was done. The cracks in Brittany's marriage, long hidden behind her polished persona, were now exposed for all to see. And as she continued to navigate the storm on RHOSLC, it became clear that this storyline wasn't going to die down anytime soon. Brittany found unexpected support from some corners of the internet, with fans rallying behind her and calling out the toxic dynamics, often present in relationships. Social media became a battleground of opinions, with some defending Derek and others urging Brittany to tell more of her story. The housewives themselves were divided. Lisa Barlow, true to form, remained skeptical of Brittany's account. I think she's being manipulative, Lisa said during another confessional. If things were so bad, why didn't she say anything before now? In contrast, Meredith Marks took a more compassionate approach. It's not our place to judge her for how long it took to speak up. Trauma doesn't have a timeline. As the season progressed, Brittany's narrative became less about her past and more about her future. She began focusing on reclaiming her life, working on projects that gave her a sense of purpose outside the confines of her reality TV persona. But the question of whether Derek had truly demanded sex from her in ways that crossed the line lingered in the air unanswered. 
Ultimately, the truth of Brittany and Derek's marriage remains a complicated and painful subject, one that will likely continue to unfold as the cameras roll and the world watches. What is clear, however, is that Brittany Bateman is no longer the woman who stays silent. She is a woman who is finding her voice, even in the face of a past that refuses to stay buried.